Okay, so this time we've had problems in videotaping. So the best I can think of to do, explain what I've done. Um, my camera for some reason, major camera failure. So we're doing my phone for right now, so sorry for the handheld. But I wanted to get this video in and explain while it was still fresh that um, how I how I got from the last, last video to this video since um, the camera failed. Anyway, so let's go step by step. Um, first thing I did was we need to start creating some depth. So I took and all these trees in the background, I started laying those in just so I have a depth of field and smoothed out the colors in the background so I knew how light and how dark we need to make things so we have a contrasting painting so it kind of sparkles a little. Um, the wings I went all the way to white in a lot of areas although this whole thing was white and I redrew out some of the, the line work because I like it better and I um, then I went and added a bunch of um, a few shadows in it and a few highlights so I have a little more defined and slightly sparkly wings um, the highlights needed to start being added well next I ordered, did the darks in the hair so I can know how high to go on the highlights so the next thing we added some highlights on the shoulder and this little patch that was real important that I was failing to get correct last time and the little tiny highlight right here um, the other thing is I pretty much had to readjust her face. I wasn't happy with the way she looked. I still want a slightly elven look to her, but I want a, um, I want a slightly more human because I am going for fairy and not elf. Um, so I tightened up her lips, add more shadows, add stronger highlights along the nose and along the cheek, enlarged her channel just slightly and let her, sh her, um, try to make her cheekbone match this cheekbone because this cheekbone is kind of a little bit prominent. So I did highlight this cheekbone a little bit and getting it to stand forward, but not too far forward because it is on the shadowed side, slightly shadowed side and add a little jawbone and I add a little, I added just a little bit of white up underneath that area right here so it looks more like her chin is lifted and you have that skin up underneath. Um, I put in a few hairs and then I went back and put in a few dark trees so I knew where I'm going to put some trees and essentially what I'm going for is a slightly spooky look. Um, since she is has an Asian look to her, I did have to build up the hood of her around her eye slightly so she has that nice patch of lightness right there to show that it's a hooded eye. Um, and pull out the ears, put a nice bright highlight so you can find the ear when this whole painting is done. This painting is done in a mostly black uh, um, wash. This this wash has a slight amount of medium to it, not a lot, but I add a little wa a medium to my to my mineral spirits and it, so it gets a slightly fatter what the what the word people use is fatter and me, medium has a fatness to it it's thick so that's what they mean by fatter so what we're doing is we're we're slowly building a fatter layer and by the time we get to the end we'll be only using medium and no more turpentine um or inner spirits actually but the reason i went with the black mostly because usually i do with the burn umber and this time I'm going with black more because this is going to be a very cool painting. Mostly for somebody who has skin tones, I usually go with burnt umber because you get a nice skin tone up underneath it and it kind of glows. The black actually will let your cool colors get brighter without dimming them too much. Now I did add a little bit of burnt umber here and there because I, that's where I do want them to gray out. When I add the brighter colors, I want them to gray out a little bit. So I used a 
cool, uh, cooler range, which would be the burn umber. It has a brown to it. And that will dim my bright cools when I go and lay them down in the layers. Anyway, caught you up and I am very sorry that that video didn't go. I was very disappointed when I went for a playback and there wasn't one. It was 30 seconds long. So uh, next time I'm going to go back to my original camera and original setup and hopefully it will have no more problems. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and next time we'll be adding color. So see you then. What we need to do next time is... A